yo, yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Neil Ward. Welcome back to my channel, Fits and Trips. And we back for the vlog, y'all. All right, check it out, y'all. I'm at a new spot, man. Where you at right now? Bro, I'm at a spot called the Secret Lagoon or something like that. Something with a lagoon. I don't know. But check it out. I do know it's hot. I do know it's hot. I got my shades. I got an umbrella. I'm going to make it. I ain't going to die today. My goal today is not to die today. Goal number two. I'm trying to catch the most annoying species in the ocean, a.k.a. the blue crab. That's right. That's right, y'all. I'm back for revenge, okay? It's been about a year since I went crabbing. Last time I went, they took out my chicken. Took out my chicken. So I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm trying to get redemption today. So I got my crab pods and um, a couple of poles because, you know, Galveston don't got no live shrimp. Some kind of shrimp season going on for like 48 hours. So all the shrimp boats are out. So I got some squid. So I don't think there's any fish in here. I don't know. But people told me there's some good crabs over here. If I can catch some fish and use some lures or something like that. Whatever. I'm going to make it work, okay? So my goal today is to catch five keeper blue crab. I think I can do it. But it never hurts to try. All right, what we got, what we got, what we got? Enjoy the vlog. Lego. update I got to the spot that's the lagoon over here um, I'm trying to cool off man I'm trying to cool off you know what I'm saying I got my little portable fan y'all see that I hear that yeah man I got this off of Amazon for like $25 $30 so it's like a fan let me show y'all hold on y'all see that all them little things right there I ain't chilling man it got some nice little breeze if I remember I'll put the link in the description below so yeah, man, I'm, I'm good, man. Almost died at the um, Surfside Jetty last time trying to mess around with this heat. So I'm learning my lessons. Um, protection from the sun, umbrella. Um, I got another umbrella coming from my jetty cart along with my 20 inch rims from my jetty cart. My fan, plenty of water. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm not gonna die this time. So let me get a second to get my bearings. We'll set up our first crab pod and um, we'll get started with this vlog. This is the exciting content y'all signed up for. This is the exciting content y'all signed up for. I'm sorry, it is what it is, okay? You're, you're watching a black guy sitting in the middle of a lagoon under an umbrella on a summer day. This is your life. I, I know, right? I know, who, who would have thought it, but here we are. All right, I'll be right with y'all. Take a little nap. <sighs> let's talk crab pod setup now this is my metal mess metal crab pod I kept elevating right I used to do drumsticks on a string and trying to pull it got annoyed then I got the little drop net got stuck got broke so now I upgraded to these fancy crab pods I got at Academy I don't know maybe like $40 $45 now there's a lot of regulations when it comes to crab pod um, crabbing if you have a crab pod it has to be certain kind of ways that the crabs can exit if the trap is left or abandoned it has to have an escape hole so a little fish can get out and etc so the ones you buy at academy they're already regulated but there's some more stuff that you have to do in order to use these legally it comes with a buoy okay so it comes with a buoy um, but part of the buoy you need to actually have a stripe of the opposite color of the buoy as well as part of the regulation so i'll put some duct tape around as well in addition six inches from the top of the buoy you need to have a tag a name tag or aka gear tag so i got to put my name my address and the date that i dropped my pod six inches from the actual buoy if not you can get seriously fine so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and stock up my crab pod with some chicken legs and while i'm letting these sit i'll probably go um 
drop another one 100 feet away and probably keep one for myself to do it old school with the string way like that there we go all right so that's it man i'll put my gear tag on it we'll drop it about 20 30 yards i only got waders up to my thighs so however far i can get and we'll drop it and see what happens let go All right, so I just set up the first pod. There's another guy right there swimming in the middle of the channel. Y'all see him right there? And he's swimming to get his pod. They got another one. They only had like four small crabs. I don't know how long they've been having them soak, but it's not a good sign. Especially um, since they're out like in the middle of the channel. I'm about 10 yards out. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. A couple other people, they're going to old school it with some chicken legs and some strain. Looks like I got some strain too. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, y'all. So desperate time is called for desperate measures. I'm going with a voodoo shrimp, okay? It's supposed to be a good bait. Let me tell y'all something about artificial lures. I don't catch fish on artificial lures. I think I caught maybe two fish on artificial lures my entire fishing career. I'm 40 years old. So I'm going to try this. <laughs> I'm going to try this and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I still got my crab pot sitting. Um, and maybe, you know, I can get some crabs. I got some squid too, and some fish bites. I can do this, I can do this. I can catch a fish on artificial. Watch me work. I'll tell you one thing, the shrimp definitely looks realistic. Shrimp not looking realistic is not a problem. So I got one buoy here there another buoy about 120 feet the other way another regulation with buoys is that they have to be 100 feet apart if you're gonna be using pods it's a ton of mullet jumping A knife? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Can I take a picture? <laughs> Mira. Mira. No bueno. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. No bueno. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see here. I'll come on like that. Is que de Austin? Coming? Hmm? De Austin, y oh. no bueno. En yeah. academia. Yeah, it's not good. No bueno. Y es uh, $69.99. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I don't understand why you're taking off. First you say you love me, now you're breaking it off You had me at a low and then you passed go and collected your greens Easily it seems, oh Tell me, did I do something wrong? Alright y'all, so update, man, check it out, man, I've been out for about three hours now, still no crab, still no fish I did help that um, lady out right there from Austin um, cause you know, her husband wouldn't help her out. So, you know, I hooked her up, man. I hooked her up. I set her rig up and, um, apparently I got two wives now. I got two wives now. All right. So I got a commute from Austin to Houston to take care of my other wife. I just met, um, shout out, um, Quinsuela. So yeah, man, um, my backup plan is I heard that people have been catching a lot of crab at 61st street pier at night. It's like seven o'clock, man. So I might have to go there for a backup plan. If not, I don't got no video. I don't got no video. I did not come all the way to Galveston, Texas to sit here on some rocks under an umbrella talking to y'all and not make a video. Because if y'all 
aren't currently watching this. That means I didn't catch nothing and I never posted the video. I gotta make this happen. <sighs> All it takes is one. All it takes is one to make one good episode. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing. Me and my wife, Consuela, are gonna keep pushing and we're gonna make this happen. Let go. All right, y'all, so the sun is coming down. I gotta get my pods. This is the last chance effort. So about five hours of work, four, <laughs> one, small crab, is it? Just got one. Cause this won't be my heartache, no. This will be your mistake, oh Go ahead and run Go ahead